Donald Trump cannot and will not ever receive a fair trial in this country. Ever. The rules don't apply to him. Because the very fact that he would be facing a criminal or a civil charge for everything that he has done shows you that the system is broken and corrupt. There is not one charge, case, cause of action, or anything alleged and or averred by any prosecutor or entity or plaintiff that had any business being in court. If you were anybody else, anybody, these cases would have never been charged. Never. Take the case tomorrow. This dog, I think you know what I'm talking about. It's a family show. Ask any lawyer you know, anybody. Go up to them and say, you know what, Dave, you're a, you're a pretty sharp guy. I want to ask you a question. Could you explain to me what exactly Donald Trump did? In the light most favorable to the prosecution, what did he do? Dave, are, are assuming his name is Dave, Dave, are, are, are non-disclosure agreements legal? NDAs? Of course they are. Isn't that what he wrote to Dusty Saddles or whatever her name is? Yeah. So let me get this right, Dave. They're charging the greatest president in our lifetime. In our lifetime. By taking something which is legal and putting it in the wrong accounting column? Is that what you're saying? Is that, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're getting at? Is that what you're intimating? Is that what you... What kind of a system is this? And and, and and he... This is the same case, Dave, is it not, that the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District re, refused to charge because it was a dog... You know what I mean? Is that word again? Scatological. Canine scatological. The feds didn't want it. Cy Vance, Alvin Bragg's predecessor, he didn't want it. Nobody wanted this dog of a case. But now it is. Because you know and I know what the story is. And listen carefully. The first person that gets Trump's scalp wins. Sky's the limit. They win. Like you can't believe. Like you can't believe. It's incredible when you think about this. Truly. Fannie Willis. The only reason they even dumped this into her lap was that she figured, I'm stupid enough to even try this. And things were kind of going her way until she lied herself. And now faces perjury, among other things, like, oh, I don't know, disbarment, obstruction of justice, witness tampering. Alvin Bragg, Alvin Bragg, who who has no problem in letting some of the worst people go. Let them go, Bragg. Let them go. No cash bail. Just get rid of them. See ya. He's a district attorney. And normally, I don't know about you, but most of the times we have to tell DAs, hey, hey, tone it down. Tone it down. Not him. Oh, no. In New York. You can see people walk into Sephora's and CVS's with garbage bags just cleaning off the shelves. That's why everything's locked up. You want toothpaste? Ring the buzzer. Call the guy. It's locked up. Soap? Ring the buzzer. It's locked up. Like, what is this? It's like a museum. Everything's on display, but you can't get to it. Why? Thanks to Alvin Bragg, George Soros. But when it comes to Trump, oh, no, no, no. There is not any, any expense that is wasted. Nothing is held back to get him. He can't get a fair trial. He can't get a fair trial. Remember the case with E. Jean Carroll? You want to go back and do that one again? You want to go back? You want, you want to do that? 
And by the way, the juries, listen, the juries, I don't, I, the juries are there. You got to ask them the question, you know, maybe, maybe you heard something. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a parallel universe with parallel facts and a parallel court that we're not aware of. But that case didn't make any sense either. There's Donald Trump. He walks into Bergdorf Goodman, this crowded place. Why he's there, I don't know. And he goes, hey, you, I want you and I want you now. And I want you in that changing room. Come on, let's go. I'm going to risk everything because I've got to have you now. Okay, fine. Then that, was it five million turned into what, a billion? I mean, just because of defamation. I mean, this, 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 there's no, there's no, there's no end. There's no end. I don't recognize my country. Name one case. Don't tell me January 6th. Don't tell me that. See, the funny thing about January 6th, Joe Biden said himself, Joe Biden said one time when somebody says, hey, Joe, we don't want you to take our guns away. Why do you need guns, citizen? Oh, in case of a rogue government. Well, I don't think you need that. I don't think you need that. I really don't. What do you mean? Well, guns wouldn't help you. You couldn't overthrow the government. You'd, you'd need F-15s and nuclear weapons. Nobody overthrows the U.S. government, the military, even a rogue one. Yet, yet, on January 6th, these pot-bellied, eye-patch-wearing Val Kiri helmeted, sunny, bono vested lunatics who were escorted into the Capitol. By the way, the only one ever killed that day was Ashley Babbitt. Ashley Babbitt. There's no justice. There's no justice. You've got lawyers who were so afraid, they're not going to take on a case. They're not going to dare taste, take a case to prosecute a private cause of action that the president may have if he dares to suggest that an election was stolen because you should know better, President Trump. Now go away. Go away with your crazy ideas that votes were stolen. and Just go away. We don't want to hear from you. And you think he's going to have a fair trial. You think there's any chance? You think that somehow the system is now going to it's going to it's going to right itself? Not on your life. It's a tragedy and a travesty. It's disgusting what's happening to that man. It's disgusting. He was on the verge of saving our republic. He doesn't need this. It doesn't put him and his wealth and his family at risk for us. But he did. And now look. Now look. I am disgusted.